This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book. And will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C. They're sitting at a table is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. He's fishing from a pier. B. He's boarding a boat. C. He's reading a book. D. He's picking up a backpack. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. She's looking through a purse. B. She's holding a suitcase. C. She's hanging a poster. D. She's putting an umbrella into a basket. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. A rug is being rolled up. B. A door is being installed. C. A floor is being mopped. D. A wall is being torn down. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. Some flowers are being planted. B. Some leaves have been raked into a pile. C. Some stairs are being repaired. D. Some fruit has been stacked in a bin. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. A woman is typing on a keyboard. B. A woman is plugging a cord into a machine. C. A man is standing in front of a desk. D. A man is reaching for a coffee mug. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. One of the men is climbing a ladder. B. One of the men is lifting a wooden plank. C. One of the men is sweeping a walkway. D. One of the men is tying rope to a pole. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Do you think it'll rain tomorrow? A. Yes, probably. B. 
Let me show you how. C. No, he can't. Number 8. When will the new building be finished? A. Across from the pharmacy. B. For the new meeting room. C. By the end of the month. Number 9. How was the fundraising event yesterday? A. Yes, at 8 o'clock. B. It was very successful. C. The Wilson Hotel. Number 10. Where is a good place for a quick lunch? A. Yes, I won the race. B. The sandwich shop next door. C. About four dollars. Number 11. Don't you work upstairs? A. She prefers to take the stairs. B. I don't use it very well. C. No, my office is on this floor. Number 12. You submitted the travel request, didn't you? A. Yes, this morning. B. 15th and Green Street. C. That would be okay. Number 13. Who's going to take notes at Thursday's meeting? A. Several pages. B. I'll be on vacation then. C. The charger is broken. Number 14. Why can't we replace the computers? A. The copies are in black and white. B. Because the budget's not big enough. C. On the table is fine. Number 15. Shouldn't we update our company logo? A. No, we'll have to get approval first. B. That date is convenient. C. I go there often. Number 16. When are they going to hire someone to fill the open position? A. Would you like coffee or tea? B. I think I left my office door open. C. There are three people left to interview. Number 17. I heard Fatima is presenting her proposal today. A. Sure, I will. B. We bought them each a present. C. Oh, I thought that was tomorrow. Number 18. Why don't we invite Ms. Lee to the business dinner? A. I do have her email address. B. A bowl of vegetable soup. C. I'm sorry, I thought I returned it. Number 19. What repair work needs to be done on this car? A. Yes, that's right. B. I haven't finished checking it. C. No, thanks. I can walk. Number 20. Who should I call to set up my printer? A. At 12 o'clock. B. The phone number's on your desk. C. The weather forecast. Number 21. Have you ordered more whiteboards for the office yet? A. Yes, the board of directors. B. A receipt for the uniforms. C. Kathy's in charge of supplies. Number 22. There's a special exhibition at the art gallery. A. Yes, I read an article about it. B. She has a high salary.
C. At the next stoplight. Number 23. Can I start the video conference now? A. No, let's wait a few minutes. B. It was very popular. C. That candidate won. Number 24. Who authorized that purchase? A. Within an hour or so. B. Yes, about the budget. C. Someone in the accounting department. Number 25. Why is the library so busy today? A. Sure, I have some time. B. He got a job at a news magazine. C. Have you seen today's event schedule? Number 26. We should really buy a new coffee maker. A. Cream and sugar, please. B. That's a good idea. C. No, put it on my desk. Number 27. I'm afraid I won't be able to lead the tour this afternoon. A. Okay, thanks for letting me know. B. I left it for you by the elevator. C. No, maybe just a quick update. Number 28. We still need to sign our contract with the advertising agency, don't we? A. My travel agent found me a great hotel. B. Yes, by next Friday. C. I saw that commercial as well. Number 29. Should I bring some photography samples to the job interview? A. Please sign your name here. B. I've seen them online. C. What a nice view. Number 30. Is there a room in the store where I can try this shirt on? A. You can follow me. B. We'll try harder next time. C. She's not here right now. Number 31. Would you like to meet on Tuesday or Wednesday? A. Actually, he did like it. B. The staffing policy. C. I don't have my appointment book with me. Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, and thank you for calling the Bridge City Hotel. How may I help you? Hello, I just saw an advertisement for a receptionist position at your hotel. If the job's still available, I'd like to apply for it. Let me go and ask Eleanor Smith. She's our hiring manager, so she'd know if the position has been filled yet. Number 32. Where does the woman work? Number 33. Why is the man calling? Number 34. What does the woman say she will do next? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Robert, is everything ready for this morning's training on the new accounting software?
We should get started soon. Actually, I just noticed a mistake in the training handout. Some of the information is out of order. Yes, you're right. Sorry I didn't mention it earlier. That's already been fixed, and there's a new version. I'll go down the hall and print out some new copies. While I do that, can you set up the projector in the training room? Yeah, I'll go make sure all the equipment is ready. Number 35. What are the speakers preparing for? Number 36. What problem does the man mention? Number 37. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm calling from Brookshire Theatre for Ms. Ito. This is she. I understand you have tickets to tonight's dance performance. I'm sorry, but we've had to cancel tonight's show. That's too bad. Tonight was the only night I could make it. I'm sorry about that. I can offer you a refund for the ticket. Oh, I'll take the refund. Thanks. Sure. And I'll also email you a promotional code that'll give you a discount on your next ticket purchase. Number 38. Where does the man work? Number 39. What is the reason for the call? Number 40. What does the man say he will email to the woman? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Ricardo. Thanks for meeting with me. Since we're in charge of planning this year's summer outing for the staff, we'd better get started. It's only a few months away. Right. But we could just follow the plans from previous years. Everyone had a lot of fun on those hikes in the mountains. That's true, but we've done that for three years in a row. I see what you mean. So what were you thinking? Well, we could all take a cooking class together at the culinary school. Hmm, I like that idea. But aren't those classes expensive? Our budget isn't very big. Number 41. What are the speakers planning? Number 42. What does the woman mean when she says, We've done that for three years in a row. Number 43. What does the man say he is concerned about? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Thanks for being flexible in meeting with us. Things have been so hectic with recording the songs for our new album and preparing for our tour. Not a problem. I understand completely. Great. Okay, so we love the imagery you've created for other bands, and we'd like to have a new T-shirt design to sell during our concerts. Thanks. I appreciate the business, and I'm looking forward to this. Oh, and can you make sure the design would fit on stickers and tote bags, too? Definitely. Now, before designing anything, I have new clients complete a questionnaire to give me a sense of their style. After I get your questionnaire, I can start drawing. Number 44. Who most likely are the women? Number 45. What do the women want to hire the man to do?
Number 46. What does the man request from the women? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hi, this is Hitoshi at the Shower Barn. How can I help you? I'm calling because I saw an online ad about your company's new shower heads. I own an apartment complex, and the showers have really old fixtures. Yes, of course. As the advertisement points out, our new model controls water flow much more efficiently. It decreases water usage by an average of 20%. That sounds great. Could I get a price estimate for the installation of 30 of those shower heads? Absolutely. Please hold for a moment. Number 47. How did the woman learn about a company's products? Number 48. What does the man mention about the product? Number 49. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. I'm Dan Cooper with Summitville TV, your local news station, broadcasting from the brand new Summitville Public Library. After two long years of construction, Local residents are excited about the library's opening. Let's speak with someone now. Excuse me, ma'am, do you live in the neighbourhood? Hi, yes, and I'm just so glad to have a library right down the block. It was inconvenient having to take the bus across town to visit the old one. Now I can check out books any time I want. Yes, and it'll be especially easy for members. Since I understand the library has started a digital books initiative which allows members to borrow electronic books online. Number 50. Who most likely is the man? Number 51. What does the woman like best about the new library building? Number 52. What benefit will library members have? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. I'd like to return this phone charging cable, but I can't find my receipt. May I ask why you're returning it? It doesn't work. It won't charge my mobile phone. I'm a new salesperson, and I haven't learned yet how to refund an item without a receipt. Oh, but here comes my manager. She'll be able to do it. Hi, Tina. Is there something you need help with? Yes. This customer wants to return a defective product, but he doesn't have his receipt. Okay. I can process the return, sir. I just need to see the original credit card you used to purchase the item. Thanks. Here it is. Number 53. Why did the man go to the store? Number 54. What problem does the salesperson have? Number 55. What does the manager ask the man for? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Dean. I just reviewed the updates you made to the company website. The new layout looks great. That's good to hear. Do you think it's ready to launch then? Almost. I noticed that some of the photographs of our colleagues are a little outdated. Could you replace them with more current ones? Sure, that's not a problem. I'll email all of the employees to ask them for more recent photos that I can use. Number 56. 
What project is the man working on? Number 57. What does the woman suggest changing? Number 58. What does the man say he will do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Fernando. I'm so frustrated with this project. Do you have time to talk? Sure, Ines. What's wrong? Well, I've been working on the Marius Cosmetics account. Whenever I send them an advertisement that they've approved, they want to revise it again. It's happened several times this week. You wouldn't believe it. Actually, Marius Cosmetics was my first account here, and it doesn't sound like they've changed much. Really? I'm relieved to hear that. Some clients have trouble sticking with the decision. Here's my suggestion. Ask your manager to give them a call. That could help with the problem. Number 59. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 60. Why does the man say... Marius Cosmetics was my first account here. Number 61. What does the man suggest doing? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and guidebook. Today's medical seminar has been really good so far. I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Me too. This afternoon's workshop on ethics in medicine should be very interesting. A colleague of mine is leading it. The workshop starts in an hour, so we'd better get lunch now if we want to get back in time. Well, I found some dining options for the area in this guidebook. Korean food is my favorite, but I think Main Street is a bit far from here. Hmm. We're on Lord Street now. Oh, the guidebook lists a restaurant on Lord Street. It should be on this block. Let's eat there. Okay. Number 62. What field do the speakers most likely work in? Number 63. What will take place in the afternoon? Number 64. Look at the graphic. Where will the speakers probably have lunch? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and seating chart. Ms. Parker, would you still like me to book a flight for you to Hawaii? Yes, I would. The new branch office there is finally opening, and I want to be there for the first week to make sure everything goes smoothly. Okay, when do you want to leave? Are there any flights on June 15th? Let me check online now. Hmm. All flights on that day are sold out. But there's one flight with availability on June 14th. That date will work for me. I'd prefer a window seat if there is one. There's just one seat available by a window. I'll book that for you now. Number 65. What is the purpose of the woman's trip? Number 66. What does the woman agree to do? Number 67. Look at the graphic. Which seat does the woman request?
Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and schedule. Hi, this is Amiko from Ship Hub International. I received your application to be one of our specialty drivers. You have a lot of experience. Yes, I drove a delivery truck for several years. Great. I'd like to set up an interview this week. I see that you indicated you're free on Friday morning, but there are no open interview times that morning. Could you come in tomorrow at 9 a.m.? Sure, I can meet you tomorrow at 9. Okay. Now, I already have your application, but please bring the names of references you'd like to use. Maybe a few of your previous managers and their phone numbers. Okay, I'll bring a list tomorrow. Thanks. Number 68. What kind of experience does the man say he has? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which day will the man be interviewed? Number 70. According to the woman, what should the man bring to the interview? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. The next item on our agenda is the upcoming visit to our company by colleagues from our branch office in Germany. They're coming to get trained on the new software we recently purchased. They'll be participating in this training with all of our staff here. While they're here, they're also interested in touring the city. We're looking for volunteers to show them around. If you're interested in helping with this, please send me an email after today's meeting. Be sure to include your availability so that we can schedule the tours. Number 71. Why are some colleagues visiting the company? Number 72. What are the listeners asked to volunteer to do? Number 73. What are volunteers asked to send in an email? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, may I please have your attention? This is an announcement for passengers of Flight 710 to Tokyo. Your aircraft will now be departing from gate A2 rather than from gate A7. We apologize for the inconvenience of this last-minute change. When we start boarding, please have your photo identification card out and ready to be checked. Thank you. Number 74. Where does the announcement most likely take place? Number 75. According to the speaker, what has been changed? Number 76. What does the speaker say the listeners must show? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following news report. And now for the hourly traffic report. Highway 95 is currently experiencing heavy traffic because of the concert that's taking place at the convention center this evening. To find alternate routes, we recommend taking a look at the interactive map on our website, 
Also, remember that construction will begin in the downtown area early next week, and sections of Market Street will likely be closed. We'll be sure to let you know as soon as the construction project is complete. Thanks for listening and enjoy your drive. Number 77. What is the main topic of the report? Number 78. What does the speaker recommend that the listeners do? Number 79. What does the speaker say will happen next week? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following tour information. Welcome aboard and thanks again for joining our lake tour. It's going to be a beautiful day on the water. On this trip, you'll learn about the people who lived on Harmon Island many years ago, and you'll view their historic homes. Seeing these structures will give you an idea of how different life was back then. Now, I'm sure you all brought your cameras. The first time we pass by the island, we'll be facing the sun, so you won't have any luck taking photos. That's okay, though. We'll be coming back the opposite way on the return trip. All right, let's get going. Number 80. Where most likely are the listeners? Number 81. According to the speaker, what will the listeners be able to see? Number 82. What does the speaker imply when he says, We'll be coming back the opposite way on the return trip. Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. To start our meeting off, I'd like to share some good news with you all. We just renewed our contract with Springfield Publishing. We'll continue printing all the books they publish for the next two years. I know we're all happy to hear that. Moving on, several of you have complained that some of the blades in the cutting machines are becoming dull and it's taking longer to cut through thicker books. I just want you to know I've already called the manufacturer. And now, James will introduce the next item on the agenda. Number 83. What good news does the speaker share? Number 84. What kind of business does the speaker work for? Number 85. What does the speaker mean when he says, I've already called the manufacturer. Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Sungook. Sorry to call so late in the day, but I need your help. Mohammed just called to tell me that a big agricultural producer in Brazil is interested in learning more about our farm equipment. They're looking to buy some of our tractors and harvesting machines. Anyway, they're sending a representative here next Friday, and I'll be leading that meeting. But the thing is, they told us the rep doesn't speak much English, and I don't speak any Portuguese. So we'll need someone who can interpret. Can you look into hiring someone who can help us with that for the day? Number 86. What does the speaker's company sell? Number 87. According to the speaker, what will happen next Friday? Number 88. 
What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following introduction. Good afternoon. We're so glad to see such a large turnout at this year's Corporate Leadership Conference. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce our keynote speaker, Professor Rosa Jimenez. Dr. Jimenez will be presenting her research on the relationship between personality traits and career success. Since all of you have leadership roles in your organizations, I think you'll find this information very useful. Before I hand the microphone over to Dr. Jimenez, I'd like to encourage you to visit our website to pre-register for next year's leadership conference. If you do so before the end of the month, you'll receive a discounted registration rate. Number 89. Where most likely are the listeners? Number 90. What will Dr. Jimenez talk about? Number 91. According to the speaker, what should the listeners do by the end of the month? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following introduction. Good evening. I'm Alex Talera, the head ranger at Anders National Park. I'm sure many of you have visited the park for hiking or fishing, but tonight we're happy to be hosting our first annual astronomy lecture, giving you the opportunity to sit under the stars and learn about constellations. When we first discussed this idea, we weren't sure the community would be interested in this lecture. However, as I look out, I see the seating area is almost full. Now, we're quite a distance from the city lights, which will help us spot multiple constellations. Before we begin, please switch off your mobile phones, as that type of light can also interfere with visibility. Number 92. Where does the speaker work? Number 93. What does the speaker imply when he says, The seating area is almost full. Number 94. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and floor plan. Hi, Carol. It's Susan. I was just told I'll be leading the team that's developing our newest microwave oven. I'm preparing a draft budget for the development of the new model and have been looking over the expenses from previous projects. Since you worked on a similar project two years ago, would you have time to come by my office? I have a couple of questions that I'd like to ask you. If you can, stop by whenever you have time today. Oh, and don't forget, I moved to the office directly across from the kitchen. See you soon. Number 95. Which department does the speaker most likely work in? Number 96. Why does the speaker want to meet with the listener? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Which is the speaker's office? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and menu. I'm glad to see all of our cooks here for this early morning meeting. I have something to tell you about this weekend's menu. One of our suppliers had a problem with his trucks, so we didn't receive our delivery from them. This won't affect anything on our menu except for Saturday's dinner special. 
What I'd like you all to do is think about another dish you can cook for Saturday evening. There's still time to reprint the menu. Email me any ideas you have by 4 p.m. today. Number 98. Who are the listeners? Number 99. Look at the graphic. What menu item will need to be replaced? Number 100. What does the speaker want the listeners to do by 4 p.m. today? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to Part 5 in your test book. End of recording.